everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Valentine and this is my Yule Christmas holiday decorate with me. It's been a long time, but I'm back. <laughs> Thank you to everyone checking in on me. I'm okay. I'm just going to string up the lights as best as I can. It's a lot harder to do by yourself than you would think. And apparently struggle pretty hard to plug in the Christmas tree. But yeah, so how have you guys been? Are y'all excited for the holiday season? Do y'all have any Yule or Christmas traditions that y'all do every year? That's been really fascinating to me recently. I want to establish more traditions. The reason why I'm doing a voiceover, and as you can see, I'm clearly talking, like I recorded a video, but my neighbor decided to mow his lawn and then a helicopter decided to just chill out directly above my house, which is not normal. So I'm just pulling out my decor pieces, the black Christmas trees, my little Baroque candelabra and brass candlesticks and then I randomly was like you know what I should put the garland up first here's the garland it is a real touch Norfolk Norfolk I really don't know how to say that Norfolk pine and it's faux obviously it looks pretty big but I love it and I think it actually completely makes this space I will say you're about to watch me finagle with it for an extremely long time. It was very hard to make it look full and um, I paid a pretty penny for it and honestly I don't recommend. For the amount that I paid, I would expect it to be more full. So yeah, I'm talking about how Kitty we know is behind the tree in the little window and he's probably gonna jump out like a spider monkey and destroy everything. <laughs> I got these trees thanks to Jade the Lieber recommending them last year from Hobby Lobby. I am no longer supporting Hobby Lobby. I don't purchase anything from them. I do want to disclose though that these are from Hobby Lobby if you are interested. And then the gold candlesticks I got from eBay, I think, for like 25 bucks. For a set of seven and then the two taller ones with the spirals i got those at an antique store for like 15 bucks yeah for yule i just want to do a lot of gold you know it's it's a celebration of the sun returning and soon the dark winter days will be over so I felt like gold was appropriate. If you look at the tree in the window, you can see a little Yule cat peeking through. The honey buns hung up the mirror for me. He does not want to be on camera. Here I am cleaning it off because my cat sneezed on it. Like literal chunks of cat snot are on my mirror. The mirror I got from Kirkland's, by the way. All right, now on to the best part of the Christmas tree, and that is the candles. I got these Christmas candles for the tree. They're battery operated. I bought these last year or the year before on Amazon, and they completely made my tree last year. I loved it. It looks so magical. So I'm just checking to make sure that each one of these works. And as you can see, they're not a clip, like a standard clip on um, faux candle. They kind of have this little wired nest that they sit in. And then they have a weighted crystal prism at the end. The weighted prism is what keeps it attached to the tree instead of a standard clip. I 
at my old apartment, I had a giant window that my Christmas tree was in front of last year. And every time I would open the window and the sun would shine through, the sunlight would hit these crystal prisms perfectly and just send this giant blast of rainbows across my apartment. And it was beautiful. <laughs> I did get these on Amazon either a year or two ago, and I will link them if I can find them. I purchased two sets for my six foot Christmas tree. So you do kind of have to move the branches around. See right here, you have to kind of move the weight and shift it so that the candle sticks in the direction you want it to be. The symbolism of the candle is that fire, warmth, light, and the sun will be returning to us once again. The winter solstice is the longest night, and after that dark period, the sun will be making its way back to us. It is a solstice holiday, so candles are a must. All right. So on to the natural, more Victorian dried fruit ornaments. So last year I bought oranges and sliced them and dried them in my oven from scratch kind of method. And I hated it. It was just, it took way too long. So this year I bought a bag off of Etsy and some gold ornament hooks, as you see here. And again, with the more pagan symbology behind the Christmas tree and the orange slices is that they are circular and orange like the sun. So you're bringing that into your home. But yeah, so that's what I'm doing. And then I'm just going to hang them up on the tree. So I am friends with Miss Rachel Mortician and I watched her video and saw that we had very similar ideas. <laughs> she actually walks you through how to dry the orange slices and apple slices uh, at home. And she does a great job and she cracks me up. She also brought up something that I saw myself. I was contemplating whether I was gonna do it at home or just buy a bag of pre-made oranges and um, or orange slices. And I agree with her. The cost of oranges have gone up so much. It was like $3 for freaking orange. But yeah, definitely go check hers out. Her tree ended up beautiful. It's a cauldron full of baby's breath and a fake fire on in the background. We've got the sun represented in the candles and the orange slices. I wanted to bring something in that represented love, purity, peace, and prosperity. I truly think they're one of the sweetest flowers. They're just so delicate and they make everything look vintage. Here I am just cutting off the stems to more manageable sizes and then I'm gonna have a hot cocoa break. So boom! Uh, the reason why I filmed this bit is just because I wanted to show off this mug. This mug is from an artist called I believe Cornidas or Cornidas. I don't really know how to say it but I can link her Instagram below. Her cauldron and the details that she hand molded and sculpted onto this cup are just 
mind-blowing and her glaze work is awesome so i just highly recommend her not sponsored at all just a huge fan and i'm gonna hang up the baby's breath underneath the candles like this Another thing I love quite a bit about these candlesticks is that they are flickering and they do have a little remote control so you can either turn them on or off and make them flicker. And when no one was looking, we placed the Christmas tree skirt, which I bought from Home Goods this year. It is the Martha Stewart Living brand. All right, so on to my mantle. My partner is filming me while I decorate the greenery with the orange slices. Um, you can see that I do have the Target skeleton hanging on my wall. <laughs> Very Christmassy. <laughs> so I'm just placing the orange slices and I ended up making some more ornaments to hang off the tips of the garland. Here's a better angle where you can see me hanging some ornaments off the tips of the garland. <laughs> a pat, just for good measure. I decided to spread out the orange slices to the ends of the garland as well, just to make it look like the whole thing was just covered. <laughs> Lovely shot by my partner here. I say, yay. <laughs> I was happy that I was almost done. I got my target bone stool that I'm going to use to hold up this gingerbread house. The gingerbread house I bought from Home Goods this year. My dad knows me very well and was like, did you get that gingerbread house? Because it reminds you of the witch that lures children to her home and eats them. And I'm like, heck yes, dad. That is exactly why I bought the gingerbread house. <laughs> But yep, this is it. Eventually, I will get some stockings and some red tapered candles, which I think will be the finishing touches. And maybe I can find a beautiful red bow for that freaking mirror. Or maybe a wreath. I don't know. One of those. So you'll see at the end here, I do add a cauldron and a cinnamon broom because, of course, you know, gotta support my witchy ways. But what isn't shown is that I do add a faux sheepskin underneath it. Isn't that gingerbread house so cute? I'm glad I bought it. All right, and that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and honestly making this year one of the best years I've ever had. From me and my fat little Yule cat, we wish you a happy holiday. Bye guys. <laughs>